Welcome to Oakland University's 2021 Spring Commencement. All of us at Oakland University salute today's graduates for their perseverance, their passion, and their dedication for completing their degrees and meeting the most challenging circumstances of the past several months. Now, please join us as we honor our nation and come together as a community with the singing of the national anthem performed by Angela Bonello, a voice performance major from the School of Music, Theater, and Dance. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Thank you, Angela, for that beautiful and inspiring performance. It's a pleasure to welcome members of the graduating classes of fall 2020 and spring 2021, along with your families, friends, special guests, and colleagues. For all of us, students, parents, friends, faculty, administrators, this special moment is a time of optimism, idealism, and reflection. I speak on behalf of the Oakland University community when I say, we are so proud of you. Each generation is connected to the next generation as a link that binds a long, continuous chain. Our common link is an educational tradition constructed on the ideals of knowledge as a means to enlightenment diversity as a means to accessibility, and fairness as a means to opportunity. Today, you stand at the gate of one of life's most important rites of passage, college graduation, the first step of many steps to come on your lifelong professional journey that we all hope leads you to good health and happiness. You must be proud of your achievements, not only today, but any time the thought occurs to you of whether you can succeed when faced with a difficult challenge. Remember this, you can, and you did. While you've been tested and challenged during your academic career at Oakland University, you've also had an extremely difficult trial during these last 12 months of an un unprecedented pandemic, and you have shown great perseverance and pride. And today, look at you, a success. There are no ordinary graduates in this class. Each of you has a special and a unique story to tell about your journey that has led you here today. You are extraordinary, but all of you do share this. You succeeded during what will be recorded as one of the most difficult social and economic periods in American history.
history. I wish I could see each and every one of your faces and shake your hands. I wish I could see the expressions of pride on the faces of your friends, your relatives, and your parents, all of whom share in your sense of achievement. Before the pandemic, when we all thought of the graduation ceremony, we expected to be crowded into the arena in a very unsocially distanced way surrounded by other graduates as they took their assigned place in a sea of black and gold. But life is filled with unexpected moments. The realities of the pandemic have changed everything. And now it should be clear that it's how you respond and cope when faced with the unexpected that reflects the strength and depth of your character. And character, true character, is the first and most necessary ingredient in any formula for success. On this day, your graduation day, make sure that you take many photos. The memories and images will last a lifetime. And so too will the building blocks of a lifetime of learning. I'd like you to reflect on the meaning of this past year and the challenges we all face in taking responsibility of doing whatever we can to make our community and our world a better, fairer, and more humane place to live. Take the time to ask yourself, how can I do my part to help? And then translate your response into action. I want you to leave this graduation ceremony with this thought in your mind. You are capable of the extraordinary. Generations that have gone before you have also been defined by challenging times. Some by war, some by economic depression, some by the struggle for civil rights and human dignity. Each generation has a defining moment where they have risen to the challenge. Your time is now. And I know, we all know, you will succeed in the days, months, and years ahead. Congratulations on your graduation. Today, you become part of our proud Oakland University tradition. Now, please enjoy the following honorary degree presentation, followed by our new Executive Vice President of Academic Affairs, and Provost, Britt Rios Ellis. At Oakland University, we confer honorary degrees to people whose noteworthy accomplishments have a major impact on their communities, on industries, and in making the world a better place. Over the years, we've acknowledged a diverse range of recipients who individually and collectively reaffirm our commitment to scholarly, creative, and humanitarian values. Today, I am so proud to confer to Kenneth Janke, the Doctor of Science, to Thomas Kimball, the Doctor of Humanities, to Kathleen Lagaki, the Doctor of Science, to Dennis Pauly, the Doctor of Arts, and to Patrick Scoggin, the Doctor of Humanities posthumously, whose nominations have been reviewed by the University Senate Honorary Degrees Committee recommended to the provost, and enthusiastically affirmed by me, the president. 
Today, I am honored to be standing in the Carlotta and Dennis Pauley Hall to celebrate the legacy of our distinguished honorary degree recipients. You have contributed to the intellectual, cultural, commercial, and civic betterment of our community and merit the honorary degrees of arts, humanities, and science, honoris causa. I had no idea what a CEO or an investor was when I was a child. I think I wanted to be a social activist and a ballerina and an archaeologist and an actress, and that was all when I was six. <laughs> my great-grandfather was a minister. My father's father was a minister. My father was a minister. So there was an expectation that little Tommy would become a minister also. But something happened along the way that I ended up in business and finance, accepted a job at General Motors, stayed there for 30 years as a finance executive. My youngest remembrance of wanting to uh, be a, in a profession was I wanted to be a disc jockey. When I started working with my father, I discovered the field of investor relations, and that's when I knew I wanted to go into that area. Everybody worked in the automobile business, so it was almost a pre-gone conclusion that Danny, when you graduate, you're going to go into the automobile business, so that's where I ended up. My husband, Pat Scoggin, uh, did not always want to pursue business. He wanted to go into sports journalism or be a sports analyst. A corporate insurance company recruited him out of college, and he went straight into business and then ended up at the Ford dealership in Rochester, Michigan. I think the thing that I was most grateful for was uh, the people that I worked with people that I worked for, and the people that I was fortunate enough to, to lead. Without those people, I'd have never achieved the success that I was able to get in my career. I've got a, a wonderful wife. We've been married for over 33 years. We've got three great kids, all of whom are very successful in their own right, and uh, we're both incredibly uh, proud of them. My husband, Pat, would say that he is most grateful for his family. Another great accomplishment of my husband, Pat, is his OU scholars. He donated his money to put nine going on 10 full ride scholars through Oakland University. You know, I have many things to be grateful for. So I've worked at big companies and small companies around the world. And probably most importantly, if COVID has taught us nothing else, that the people we love and the people who love us are the greatest asset in our life. I'm very grateful for the ability to age with the dignity and purpose that I so much desire. And I'm grateful to have a great family like Oakland University. I think the advice I'd give to graduates uh, first and foremost would be to find whatever they can do to be fulfilled uh, at work because they're going to be spending so much time there and if you're not happy at work, you're not going to be happy at home. Do not be the last one to get to work and the first one to leave. Be the first one there and the last to leave, and you'll have a much better opportunity for success. Chart your own path. Stay healthy in mind, body, and soul. Stay open to new possibilities. Stay connected to the people you care about. I think the ability to be humble in your career. No one leader can run an organization all by themselves. I believe his wise advice is universal. Always be honest and have integrity in all that you do. Treat people well. Adhere to the principle of the seven Ps. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And finally, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% of how you respond. Dennis Polly, we honor you as an acclaimed executive and thought leader in the automotive and manufacturing industries, a dedicated servant of your community and country, a remarkably generous philanthropist and tremendous advocate of higher education. Tom Kimball, we honor you as an exceptional business leader and as a remarkably engaged civic leader who has maintained a meaningful and impactful association with Oakland University's College of Arts and Sciences. Kathleen Lagaki, we honor you for your distinguished career leading companies to success driving entrepreneurial technology and impacting the automotive industry in Michigan. Kenneth Janke, we honor you as an accomplished businessman and outstanding contributor to community organizations, 
to the advancement of diversity and equity in society and to the success of higher education in Michigan. Patrick Scoggin, we honor you posthumously as an accomplished businessman and extraordinary contributor to community development, education, and human services throughout Southeastern Michigan and beyond. I want to take a moment to express my admiration to Kenneth, Tom, Kathleen, Dennis, and Patrick for their compassion and selflessness in all of their civic endeavors. The conferral of the doctorate degrees of arts and humanities, of science, honoris causa, to Dennis Pauly, Tom Kimball, Patrick Scoggin, Kathleen Lagaki, and Kenneth Janke is Oakland University's recognition of truly distinguished achievements beyond the classroom and campus, and a testament to the power of education, initiative, and vision. Congratulations to our newest doctors. Today, we are here to honor and celebrate the students who graduate from Oakland University. I applaud you on your achievements and I encourage you to always continue the quest for excellence. You have studied with outstanding faculty and staff. You have been encouraged and supported by the faculty and staff and by your families and friends. Today, we are extremely proud of each and every one of you. As students, your lives have been changed forever because you chose to study at Oakland University. You chose to pursue a college education and you chose to be successful. You depart this campus as a very different person than you were on the day you enrolled. Today, you emerge as a leader. You will take with you precious and unique skills, knowledge, and values. Throughout your undergraduate ceremonies this semester, we have 3,400 students graduating. 61% are women and 39% are men. 95% are from Michigan. 80% are from Oakland and Macomb counties. 3% are international students. And the average age is 24.8. The youngest graduate is 19 years old and the oldest is 66 years strong. To give you an idea of the breadth of the bachelor's degrees awarded today, 36% are from the College of Arts and Sciences, 15% are from the School of Business Administration, 8% are from the School of Education and Human Services, 15% are from the School of Engineering and Computer Science, 13% are from the School of Health Sciences, 11% are from the School of Nursing, and 4% are from the Bachelor of Integrative Studies program. I'd like to acknowledge the veterans who are graduating today. Please honk your horns to congratulate them. Thank you for your service. I'd like to introduce Dr. Graham Harper, Dean of the Honors College, followed by Dr. Kevin Ball, Dean of the School of Health Sciences, and Dr. Judy Didion, Dean of the School of Nursing. I'm Dr. Graham Harper, Dean of the Honors College here at Oakland University. I'm supposed to be here today to talk to you about students graduating with honors, but that's going to be hard to do. You see, I've got a problem. My son, Tyler, he's uh, graduating here with you today. And that's a real problem because after today, like you, he's not going to be an undergraduate anymore. Tyler is our youngest son. So I've not lived in a house without undergraduates for maybe 10 years. It's going to be very different. I know there's probably parents out there that feel the same way. These birds are leaving the nest. I did think I should impress him today, maybe by using Latin designations, summa cum laude and all those great terms. But one thing I've learned from my son is that I should be more grounded I should be more grounded in the real world, in the world around us, in this time and in this place. I should be more down to earth. Two months ago, I became an American citizen. We all did, Tyler and his mother and I, and we were driving home. And as we were driving home, like 
you will be today from this ceremony, I realized that this is the place we live in. Everything around me was who I had become. Everything around me was who I was. That's what we mean by down to earth. We mean being together. We mean the condition of sharing things together. We mean graduating together in this time and in this place. We mean celebrating together in any way we can. The place we make, whether that place is our family home, our nation or our university, that place has influence. The environments we live in, the people we meet and the ambitions we form. This is the substance of who we are, each and every one of us. Today is a monumental ceremony. It's about who we are, each and all of us, professors, families and friends, staff, students, leaders, and the graduates of Oakland University. And the world is watching, a fact I'm going to prove to you in just a minute. So with that world watching, let me turn to the job I've been asked to do today at this ceremony. And I'm going to ask you to honk your horns in a moment when I call out your particular chords your particular awards. Those who are graduating today with university honours are wearing gold cords. Honk your horns, gold cord wearers. Fabulous. Those who are receiving departmental honours are wearing red cords. Honk your horns. Cords and stoles of other colours worn by graduates represent the many honour societies with chapters here at Oakland University. Honk your horns. Students graduating today from the Honours College are wearing Honours College medallions. Those also graduating as presidential scholars can be identified with medallions embossed with our university seal. That is our official emblem and has remained unchanged since our foundation. Honours College graduates, presidential scholars, honk your horns. <laughs> and so you should. Today's commencement sees the largest number of graduates of the Honours College in the history of Oakland University and the highest number of graduates graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. 73 of them have completed the Presidential Scholar Medallion Program. That also is a record. These students, these graduates, they represent us all here at Oakland University because this is our time and this is our place. To the Honours College graduates, in addition to maintaining a grade point average in the top rank of all students nationally for your entire time here at Oakland University, you've also been part of completing over 30,000 hours of service to the community and to the university. You've undertaken the study of one or more languages so you can speak to more people in the world like the one I'm about to introduce you to. You've worked with your fellow students to lead student organisations and to host distinguished speakers from the academy, from the community and from the professions. And you've completed a substantial undergraduate research project or a creative project mentored by a member of our wonderful Oakland University faculty. These projects now stand as an investigation of knowledge and an application of knowledge that places the Honours College graduates here today in the top 5% of graduates in our nation. And yes, that's the first time I've been able to say our nation. There is much to celebrate here today. Every cap, every gown, every cord and every medallion, they all represent a vision a set of principles, a grounding in this world that binds us here all together. And that world, that world is watching. Let me introduce you to Henrik Sousa. 
the vice chair of the Nobel Prize Committee. Yes, that Nobel Prize. Henrik would like to say a few words to the Honours College graduates graduating today at Oakland University, and he is very down to earth. Hi there, my name is Henrik Sousa. Well, it ends up as Henrik Seiss in English, but you know, these Scandinavian names. What an honor to be speaking to you today. I mean, I realize as I'm starting to speak here, I should have been wearing a tie. Unfortunately, I didn't have one here, so I can try to tie it uh, while I speak to you and see if I can multitask. Congratulations on your graduation. I know the work that lies behind graduating from the Honors College at Oakland. Goodness, a lot of work, but also a lot of community service, a lot of growing up, a lot of becoming more than what you were when you started, but also becoming more yourself. Who am I? Well, I'm a philosopher, I'm an ethicist, I've done a lot of work on questions within moral philosophy, not just in theory, but I hope also in practice, what it means to take uh, responsibility in society. And um, I realize from the work that I've done, having advised the Norwegian government pension fund, which is the largest sovereign wealth fund in the world, or having served six years on the Nobel Committee as one of those five people who uh, choose, who gets the Nobel Peace Prize. I was also the vice chair of the Nobel Committee. I have seen a little bit of what it takes to make a difference in society. And I know that is the sort of spirit that you have. But remember, it's not just about the things up there. It's not just about uh, money or positions or about creating peace between nations. All those things can be very, very important and you can contribute. But it's also about your everyday lives, the difference you make to the person right next to you, the way you take care of yourself. You should love thy neighbor, but you also have to do that in a way that takes care of yourself. These everyday things are the uh, individual building blocks that a happy, prosperous, sustainable society is built on. So congratulations on this great day. One day, maybe one of you will get the Nobel Peace Prize and I can welcome you here to Oslo, Norway to be part of the celebrations. Congratulations, with or without the Nobel Peace Prize. And I do wish you and your loved ones all the best. Congratulations to all the graduates. Dear Health Science graduates, on behalf of the faculty and staff members of the School of Health Sciences, congratulations on your accomplishments. Yes, this graduation day celebration is for you, yet it is also a landmark day for each of us, graduates, family, friends, and faculty members to reflect upon and to give thanks for. The women and men graduating today have each pursued their own personal journeys. And certainly, with the challenges of the major COVID-19 pandemic, there has never been a more meaningful time to graduate into a health-serving career. Yet, in the School of Health Sciences, we know that no person stands alone. We are collectively over 2,000 undergraduate, masters, doctoral, and post-professional students who, through expert faculty guidance and community partnerships, endeavor earnestly. Now, Dear graduates, let us reflect. You are surrounded by friends and family, by companions, and perhaps virtually your now former classmates, who are soon to be your future colleagues. And together, you are to engage in the great enterprise of serving others. The world is in need. Our country is in need. All people, whether we meet them through the organized benefits of insured health care or do so in a haphazard fashion on the street in underserved communities. Yes, all people are in need of the help that you have learned to provide. Consider your vivid experiences within our School of Health Sciences. Was it by sleeping in a cardboard box one cold night, participating in our wellness and health promotion fight the night campaign, experiencing what it is to be homeless? Or was it by helping to assess and serve the health and social needs of our neighbors in poor urban communities? Might it have been through helping to provide disabled persons who could not afford care with free physical therapy services? Or was it by responding as the COVID-19 crisis began raging in Michigan 
to help package food for deliveries to communities in need. Together, today, we mark your emergence as competent, collaborative, compassionate scholars and practitioners. You are ready. Draw upon the best of your now proven intellect. Give guidance and service through the best application of your clinical skills. Help others by learning what you don't yet know so as to refine your abilities and make the best use of your leadership talents by first getting involved. And as you rise to meet all future challenges, please remember always to keep close for your support, your friends, family, colleagues, and indeed, your School of Health Sciences academic family. For together, we are at our best in purpose for health. Thank you. Good day, everyone. Graduates, today marks a major milestone that you have met along the way of becoming a member of one of the country's most noble and trusted professions, nursing. Take a moment to savor your success, to reflect upon your determination to excel in the art and science of nursing. Today's achievement marks your transition from student nurse to professional nurse. Not only are you entering the profession at a time of rapid change in healthcare caused by a pandemic that turned our healthcare systems and the economy 360 degrees, you completed your degree at a time when higher education was faced with rapid challenges for an immediate response to the shutdown in the classroom, lab, and clinical experiences for students. Your class faced an entire year of unknowns. How do I manage remote learning? How do I learn the technology and skills required to care for patients virtually? How do I learn to provide evidence-based care to patients when I can't have the same amount of clinical time that was offered prior? How do I function in a healthcare environment where all patients and providers wear masks and stay distant? And for some of you, how do I manage my learning with my children at home, away from their classroom and friends? Ultimately, many of you asked, how will this new way of learning impact my ability to be successful? I recently received an email from one of our graduates, and she may be out there in the audience today. Her email was representative of the answer to this question. Let me share it with you. Dear Professor Didion, I wanted to say a big thanks for all of your hard work and dedication in bringing to fulfillment my dream of becoming a BSNRN. Despite the pandemic, you and the entire faculty worked tirelessly and ensured we would get the best in theory and practice. I wrote my NCLEX, which is the National Nursing Exam, yesterday with success. Many thanks to you and your staff for all you do. The hardships, the changes, and the sacrifices you made this past year in order to continue your education is amazing. You demonstrated the commitment and persistence required to meet your academic goals and graduate. The fact you enthusiastically continued your pursuit to be a nurse in the midst of a life-threatening pandemic and knowing the heart-wrenching stories told by the nurses in the COVID units tells me you are not pursuing the profession just to get a job, but you are committed to care for humans who are suffering and to comfort their loved ones along the way. These are attributes of an excellent nurse. You are well on your way. A close nurse friend shared this excerpt written by Haruki Marakami. As I read it, I thought it may resonate with you when thinking about this past year. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain, when you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what this storm is about. The mission of Oakland University School of Nursing is to prepare transformational leaders committed to caring and using the best evidence in nursing practice, education, and research 
to optimize the health of the public in a diverse, ever-changing global society. Your journey through your baccalaureate education was most transformative. Your experiences were most unique. You weathered the storm, and the benefits you have gained from the journey will stay with you always. I am confident that you, as an OU-educated baccalaureate prepared nurse, will lead change and make the differences needed to benefit the health of patients, families, and communities. I know this because you have mastered ever-changing educational environments with commitment and grace. I know you will do the same in the ever-changing healthcare environment. Since this is my last chance to address you, I would like to take just a few moments to share with you some of the health advice I've heard over the years, and it has served me well. I hope you will take it to heart. As you move into your professional career, embrace every opportunity presented to you. It will make you stronger, wiser, and open more doors for you. Know that every experience is a learning experience and position yourself for the next career opportunity. Set goals for yourself and work towards them. Standing still, living day to day, becomes stale and contributes to fatigue and burnout. So keep yourself refreshed and healthy. Remember, you cannot provide good care to others if you don't care for yourself. Don't stop learning. What you don't know is more important than what you do. Ask questions and learn from others. Never let your ego stand in the way of doing what's best for your patient. This will keep you and your patients safe. Never forget that every patient is a person and they need your support and care. So when you're feeling worn out, remember, our patients are someone's father, mother, grandparent, child, and best friend. So stay present for them. Always keep the patient and family as key members of the healthcare team. They are our guides for safe and effective care. So listen to them. Speak the truth, always and never ever be afraid to speak the truth to those you might perceive to be more powerful than yourselves. You are your patient's best advocate and you are the advocate for our nation's health. So strive each day to be better than you were the day before. Be more generous, give more than you think you can, reach higher, be better. Keep a sense of humor though. It's the key to your success, especially during a tough day. And finally, be kind. Compassion and kindness are key attributes for an excellent nurse. I hope you will remember these words and think about what kind of nurse you want to be because it begins right now. Your success depends on you, and I know each of you will succeed. I will be proud to have an Oakland University nurse take care of me and my loved ones. So congratulations, nurses. I'm Glenn McIntosh, Senior Vice President for Student Affairs and Chief Diversity Officer. And it is my pleasure to recognize graduating students for some of the highest honors Oakland University bestows. These students will receive an award bearing the name of one of our university's initial benefactors, Alfred G. Wilson or Matilda R. Wilson. The recipients have been chosen for having made outstanding contributions to the life of the university, to scholarship, to student leadership, and to the expression of responsibility in the solution of social problems. I commend the students, faculty, and staff who perform the difficult screening process for selection of the award winners this year. Now it gives me great pleasure to announce the Alfred G. Wilson Award recipient, Jack Ryan Andrews. Jack entered Oakland University to pursue a major in bioengineering in the School of Engineering and Computer Science. We honor you, Jack, for achieving academic excellence by maintaining a 3.89 grade point average, by achieving the Dean's List for all of your semesters here at OU, by being awarded the Presidential Scholarship upon entering OU, and you have demonstrated campus leadership as the Vice President of the OU Men's Soccer Club, as the Event Coordinator of the Engineering in Medicine and Biology Society.
and is Francis M. Moshiri Scholar, and as a research assistant in the School of Engineering and Computer Science and the University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana. You dedicated yourself to community service by working tirelessly with the Oakland County Sheriff Police Athletic League, by teaching the inner city youth of Pontiac the fundamentals of soccer, by volunteering your time, by participating in multiple alternative spring break service trips, and by aiding the fundraising efforts of the Alex M. Mackman Memorial Foundation, for maintaining high academic standards, for demonstrating extraordinary leadership capabilities, and for your involvement in the OU community, we salute and congratulate you, Jack. We extend best wishes and continued success in all of your future endeavors. Next, it is my pleasure to announce the Matilda R. Wilson Award recipient, Sydney Jennifer Torres. Sydney entered Oakland University to pursue a major in biomedical sciences in the College of Arts and Sciences. We honor you, Sydney, for achieving academic excellence by maintaining a 4.0 grade point average achieving Dean's List honors for each of your semesters at OU, by being a Kenny Merritt Scholarship recipient, receiving first place honors in the Writing Excellence Competition through the Department of Writing and Rhetoric, serving as president of the Pre-Medical Society, serving as the secretary of future leader dogs at OU. You have demonstrated campus leadership as a research assistant for the College of Arts and Sciences a teaching assistant and dean student fellow for the Honors College, a medical scribe and nursing assistant in Beaumont Health, and a participant of the Career Development Academy of the University of Michigan School of Medicine. You dedicated yourself to community service by volunteering as a kitchen aide at Grace Centers of Hope in Pontiac, Michigan, serving as a reading and literacy mentor at Center for Success in Pontiac, being a community volunteer and clinic observer with MedLife OU, and raising and training future leader dogs for the blind and visually impaired community, for maintaining high academic standards, for demonstrating extraordinary leadership capabilities, and for your involvement in the Oakland University community, we salute and congratulate you, Sydney. We extend best wishes for continued success in all of your future endeavors. It is now my pleasure to present the University's Human Relations Award. The Human Relations Award was instituted in 1986 through the efforts of the Wilson Award Committee. Its purpose is to recognize outstanding contributions to intergroup understanding and conflict resolution in the Oakland University community. It gives me great pleasure to announce the 2021 recipient of the Human Relations Award, Jay Correro. Jay entered Oakland University to pursue a bachelor's in foreign arts with a concentration in acting in the College of Arts and Sciences. We honor you, Jay, for demonstrating academic excellence by maintaining a 3.0 grade point average, being a core ambassador in the Center for Multicultural Initiatives, and being an admissions ambassador in the Office of Admissions. You have demonstrated campus leadership as president and founder of the Black Lives Matter student organization by being a diversity advocate in the School of Music, Theater, and Dance, and by serving as a mentor and advocate to students experiencing academic and mental health challenges. You dedicate yourself to community service by serving the community as chair of the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival Region 3 Student Council, and by creating Kaleidoscope, a student organization that provides BIPOC, LGBTQIA, and other underrepresented students a platform to perform theatrical works. For all of your efforts and successes, we salute and congratulate you, Jay. Best wishes for continued success in all of your future endeavors. On behalf of Oakland University, we congratulate all of you and the class of 2021. Students, you have worked very hard for many years for a college degree. It's a long-standing tradition that after receiving a post-secondary degree, the cap tassel is shifted from the right side to the left side of the cap. This signifies to all the completion of the degree. Upon nomination of the faculty of Oakland University and via authority of the state of Michigan, vested in the board of trustees and delegated to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science and 
Bachelor of Science in Nursing. The time has come. Will all of you, the graduates of Oakland University, please step out of your vehicles. And please now move your tassels. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, I now present to you the Fall 2020 and Spring 2021 Oakland University graduates. Let's give our new bachelors a well-deserved round of applause and a few horn honks too. Congratulations, graduates. You may now get back into your vehicles. And now I would like to turn things over to Provost Rio Celis for a valediction. Congratulations to all of the Oakland University graduates and to your families and friends. We are honored to share in this joyful celebration of your milestone achievement. We will conclude this ceremony with a valediction. As alumni of Oakland University, it is our hope that this ceremony will begin a lifetime connection to your alma mater. Rather than saying goodbye to this university today, we hope you will simply say so long for now and return soon to participate in the many programs and opportunities we offer alumni. We hope that you view today this unique commencement celebration as the beginning of your life as a member of the OU family and that you will always feel a connection to your fellow graduates, the faculty, and the staff. Graduates, we sincerely hope that you will strive to maintain contact with Oakland University. We hope that you will think of OU when you need support and resources or when support and resources are yours to share. We hope that you will bear the torch of this great academic center and shine its light whenever the opportunity arises. Wherever you go, please remember Oakland University goes with you as the foundation of your career and the beginning of a successful life. As you make your way in the world, we hope that you will always take the meaning of the Oakland University seal to heart. Seguir virtute e conoscenza, meaning seeker of virtue and knowledge. From this day forward, May you continue to seek knowledge, be courageous in your endeavors and search for growth and stay wondrously aware of the impact you can make on your community. We are also asking you as new alumni of Oakland University to be model citizens and responsible civic leaders in our global society. And most importantly, we're asking you to act with integrity, forethought, compassion, and a breadth of awareness of those around you. With extreme pleasure, I welcome you to the Oakland University family. Congratulations and best wishes. Congratulations, graduates. My name is Stephan Welch, class of 2005. I bring you greetings from the OU Alumni Association. You have demonstrated the true Golden Grizzly spirit through perseverance and fortitude during these challenging times. It's our hope that you will use these unique set circumstances to help develop and navigate your personal convictions as you live in your purpose on purpose. This commencement signals the beginning of the next phase of your life. It might seem scary for some, but my friend Jay-Z once said, those who are successful overcome their fears and take action. Those who aren't submit to their fears and live with regrets. So don't panic, don't regret. I can tell you from experience, everything will be all right. Believe in your capabilities and what you've learned here, but never stop growing. This is a very special moment. Embrace it. Be sure to reflect on significant experiences and the amazing people that you've encountered at Oakland University. You are now a part of a significant alumni community from our beloved OU. There are more than 120,000 of us living and working across the world. From one alumnus to another, allow me to offer you some advice. Take advantage of your Golden Grizzly Network. The Oakland University Alumni Association has a membership of talented 
accomplished, dope, and well-connected individuals providing you with access to an incredible legacy of grads to connect with. There are a ton of networking opportunities for new graduates seeking new friendships, partnerships, and employment. I hope you will choose to become active alumni and will become part of the leadership that helps sustain this organization. Our alumni chapters develop engaging events and programming every year to connect new grads like you back to your alma mater and your fellow classmates. You can make a difference by supporting events that help raise funds for scholarships, by volunteering your time to mentor students, and by encouraging others who are seeking education to consider Oakland University. It is important to contribute to the development of our students and university. We are truly an alumni family. There are thousands of us current Oakland University students with a brother, a sister, mother, father, and a grandparent who are OU alum. Your graduation can continue that family legacy or begin a new one. We encourage you to participate in the life of Oakland University in a way that is meaningful to you. You can make a difference. In the words of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., everyone can be great because anyone can serve. What you give of yourself will directly impact the future of Oakland, the state of Michigan, and this country on behalf of more than 120,000 smart, extraordinary people who graduated from OU. Congratulations to each of you. We're honored to welcome each of you into this alumni association. So go black, go gold, go Grizzlies. Take care, stay safe, and be healthy. Thank you. The Oakland University Fight Song was established in 1999 and written by one of our own faculty members, Professor Michael Mitchell from the School of Music, Theater, and Dance in the College of Arts and Sciences. So now, please join Dean John Marjoram Lays in singing our school fight song. Fight, fight, fight for Oakland. Fight the whole game long. Fight, fight, fight for Oakland. Keep the Grizzlies strong while the battle rages. And our work's not done. We will fight for glory till the game is won. Go black. Go gold. Go fight. Fight, fight, fight for Oakland. Fight the whole game long. Fight, fight, fight for Oakland. Keep the Grizzlies strong when the game is over and the story's told. Oh, you will claim victory with the black and gold. Oh, you! Thank you, Dean John Marjoram Lays. I would also like to thank the musical artists of the Cobra Fay Pipe Band for the music that played today. A word of thanks is also due to the numerous departments, staff, and other individuals who have worked hours to make this occasion possible. There's a stage at the other end of the parking lot where you can take photos and pick up your diploma cover. Cars will be directed out by rows and you may choose to exit on Squirrel Road if you do not want to walk across the stage for a photo. Please be sure to maintain social distance and please be considerate of your fellow Oakland University students and guests' safety. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs>